Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and we're going to have some fun today. Now if you're not already subscribed, you can go ahead and click that subscribe button and you can click the bell button so you know when I come up with another video. Today I'm going to dive right into the good stuff because I finally got the Arabesque palette from Bad Habit. Now you can find this on the Hush app and only on the Hush app. So really sorry if you live outside of the United States because right now the Hush app is only for people who live in the United States. Now Bad Habit is known to have a bad habit of making dupes. So this one is known to have to be a dupe for the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now of course in order to do a dupe video you need to actually have the actual palette and guess what? I did. These are the ones that we are going to be talking about today. Now also I want to just make the air clear. Some people ask me if I am um, affiliated with Hush in terms of you know being like signed by them or like contracted by them whether they send me free stuff they don't. I pay for this with my hard earned coin. I do not get any PR packages from them. This is completely 100% me and I think that's important to say because sometimes when you get you know things free from companies Sometimes they, people have a tendency to lean more in favor to whatever it is that the company sent them because they got it for free. That's not this case. And I'm not trying to shame nobody. It's just the truth. Just the truth. Definitely not uh, any, on any PR list for Anastasia Beverly Hills either. This is the video, by the way, where you get to see what it is I'm going to be adding to the main giveaway. So it's time to open up this bad boy. I don't know how she looks. I got it today, so I'm really excited. I think the design is actually really pretty. The letters are popped out. I know you guys probably can't tell. I'm bring it up to you close. So it looks like that. I'm going to open her up. Hopefully nothing is broken. I have yet to open and see this. Ooh. So of course it comes with the standard bad habit mirror. It looks like this. And then you have the shadows. The shadows are pretty much your kind of, in my opinion, your day-to-day -day shadows. Like what you wear to work, stuff like that. You could do little, you know, looks like them. Bring it up close so you can see. You have your shimmers, you have your mattes. I think it, in my opinion, has a good balance of shimmers to mattes. One, two, three, four, five shimmers and actually a lot of mattes. So that's good. In my opinion, it's good. I'd rather have more matte selection than a palette full of shimmers and one matte. It's like, what can I do with that? I can't do much with that. So I am liking this so far. I like the way this looks. The names are really cute. Grand Plie, Nutcracker, The Waltz, The Tutu. This has to do with ballet. I had a feeling off of the name of the palace, so... Really, really pretty. First impression so far. I really like the way it looks. The palette feels heavy. It's nice and soft. I mean, not super heavy. It has a nice weight to it. It's not cheapy, so yay. Typical bad habit palette. All right, now I'm going to open up the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. See how she looks. I've seen pictures of this, to be fair, be 100% honest, but I've never held one in my hand, so here we go. Ooh, there's definitely, what? Definitely similarities. I already see the simula simula similarities. Guys, I'm horrible at spelling and pronouncing things. She comes with a brush, so that is the big, the big difference. Mirror is there, but this one comes with a brush, this one does not. So I'm going to bring this up close so you can see. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five shimmer saves. Shimmer. Let me slow down. One, two, three, four, five shimmer saves. Shimmer. Why can't I fucking can't say that? One, two, three, four, five shimmer shades. Say shimmer shades like five times. Yes, it has the same amount of shimmer shades than um, that the Arabesque palette has. Same amount of mattes. They look almost the same. I'm going to hold them side by side now. See if I can do this without breaking anything. Guys, you be the judge of this. You tell me what you see. Because this looks almost identical to the eye. I'm not seeing much of a difference here, guys. They look alike, but do they swatch alike? I don't even know. We don't know. But of course, I do want to remind you that a finger swatch is not the same as a brush swatch. But you end up seeing the way it works on a brush when I do an eye look later on, which I will do, no worries. So I'm going to do side-by-side -side swatches, and then uh, we'll see if this is, in fact, the same colors. Because, again, what it may appear to be may not show on the arm. So we'll see.
swatches came out absolutely beautiful. The Arabesque palette, however, did feel a bit smoother going into than the Soft Glam palette. Now, there was the black shade that to me was very obvious that the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette was stronger than the Bad Habit one. And you see those two shimmer shades right next to the black shades. Those two shimmer shades actually are not the same shade. They look completely different. One has a pink undertone while the other one has a yellow undertone. Other than that, all the shades came out beautiful and these swatches are absolutely gorgeous. I do love the shade range in, in these palettes. I feel like you have your transitions, you have everything in this palette to make an eye look. Now, let's talk about the price point really quickly. I don't want to touch base too much about it because if you're on Hush, you already know the tea when it came to the price point with the Bad Habit palette. Now, Bad Habit, before I even joined Hush, used to cost, I think, $10 a palette, maybe even $8, i am not sure. But it was less. It wasn't $16, the amount that this one cost. So there were people who were actually really upset about this they thought that it was really ridiculous that they raised the price you know some people were just like it's no big deal you're still gonna pay much less than what you would for the actual palette honestly i feel like this palette so far does look like it's worth it it feels like it's worth it it's a bad habit palette if you have bad habit you know they're great and so far this palette is looking pretty great enough talking about the price point all the good stuff i want to dive right into a makeup look i'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off of my hand I'm using baby wipe, guys, because I've run out of make makeup wipe. Now it's time to find out if these guys perform as good on the eyes. I expect nothing but greatness from this palette. This is the one that is in question to me. This is the one that I don't know that much about. As always, I'm going to prime my lids and we're going to get right to it. My face is done. Let's begin. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids with a crayon case washable eye glue stick. Just move my mirror. There you go. There we go, because Chris is blind. Alright, put this on. Okay, my eyes are already primed. They're ready to go. One eye will be Arabesque. One eye will be Soft Glam. You don't know which one will be which, and it is going to be your job to try to figure out which eye is the duped and which eye is the real deal. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm starting off this look with a white base just to cover the primer. Now one of the palettes had extreme, extreme fallout. Look at that. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and start our eye look with a light warm brown shade. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a deeper brown shade and put that into the crease and outer V of my eye. Now I'm just taking a brush and blending those two shades together. Now I'm going to go ahead and start to cut my crease and the little trick that I do since I have a hooded eye is I put the concealer on my eye and then I look up, look back and forth and then voila, there is the crease line that I'm supposed to have for the shape of my eye. I'm taking a brown shimmer shade and I'm going to pack it onto the outer corner of the cup crease that I just made for both eyes. Next I'm taking a pink shimmer shade and I'm putting that right in the center right after the brown shimmer shade that I just applied to my eye. I'm going to take the two shades that I thought were really different in the beginning when I swatched the palette that were the yellow and pink undertone shimmer shades. I'm going to see if they actually look different on the eyes. Now I'm taking a wine color to put in my crease just to further define my crease. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a light shimmer shade and put that into the inner corner of my eyes. Next I'm going to go ahead and take the matte shades that I used earlier for the upper part of my eye and apply it to the bottom lash line. Now I'm going to go ahead and take that black matte shade and apply it to the outer corner of my bottom lash line just to smoke it out. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm using the bronze shimmer shade to put into the inner corner of my bottom lash line, blending it into the black matte shade that I just applied. And lastly, I'm going to take a light shimmer shade and put it right onto my brow bone. Alright guys, now you decide which one is our best and which one is soft glam. Alright you guys, I'm done with the look. I put on some liner, I put on lashes, I put on lipstick, I put on everything else that I needed to highlight, you name it. And now it's time for me to tell you which eye is which. This eye is the dupe. And this eye is Anastasia. Isn't that crazy? They don't look that much different. Like they really, really don't. At all. You tell me. They don't. They really don't look that much different. So now I'm going to share my thoughts on the actual performance of the palettes. If I had to choose a winner between this one and this one, I would say the dupe. The arabesque. I'm not just saying it because it's cheaper. I'm saying it because of the way it performs. The shimmers in this palette applied a lot better than the other palette. Again, now this is like a really kind of tedious comparison because both of them did great. But... I did notice that with the Soft Glam palette, I had to go back and apply the pink shimmer shade because it looked like it was fading, which was kind of nice because I just put it on my eyes. But this one I didn't have to do that with. Also, I did mention earlier that the black in this shade, in my opinion, wasn't as rich as the black in this palette. And as it turns out, this black actually applied so much better than this palette. So I was a little bit shook when I saw that. I was just like, whoa. I really did think that this palette was going to do way better than this one. But to be honest, this one did amazing. Now, I will say one thing, though. This one needed a little bit more of a buildup than this one needed. So the Soft Glam palette... I went at it one time and it was like, boom, it's there. But the other one, I needed to go like maybe two or three more times depending on the matte shade. Because it was really with the mattes, not with the shimmers. So, let's see. I used quite a lot of shades here. I'm actually going to show you guys how many I used. Altogether, I used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 shades out of a, what is this? 1, 2, 3, 14 shade palette. So, to me, that's pretty good. I'm really, really impressed with this palette. I own other Bad Habit palettes. I own the Athena palette, the Retro Love palette, and so on and so forth. But this palette right here, to me, is the best one yet. I think Bad Habit is just going to get better and better as they continue to grow as a company. And I'm really excited to see what they make. Now, do I think it's worth $16? Absolutely. Both of them did great, as you guys can see. I think that if you have the Soft Glam palette, I don't really see the need to go ahead and buy this. But if you're like a makeup lover and you want to collect it, then by all means, go get it. If you have colors very similar to this, I really don't see the need in getting this palette. Because then you have so many of the same colors. But again, that's totally up to you. Totally 100% up to you. So those are my thoughts on the palettes. Let me know what you guys think down below, whether you think that this is worth it or you're going to completely pass on it. Now, the last item that I am going to be including in the May giveaway is the Bad Habit Arabesque palette. It's not here yet. It's going to be arriving in a few days. That one I'm going to just slip into the giveaway. The May giveaway ends June 15th. Now normally I wouldn't stretch it for that long. The reason why it is because I kind of started it late in May versus like May 1st. So I wanted to give people enough time to join and all that good stuff. So June 15th is the last day. June 15th at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can go ahead and watch the crayon case review video to figure out what are the details to the May giveaway. But yes, this is going to be in it and I hope whoever wins really enjoys this palette just as much as I did. That's it. That's all for today. I'm so glad you guys stopped by. Thank you for watching my video and clicking my thumbnail. It means so much to me. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.